Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Thursday, the 7th of February. Uh, again, I'm going to my the stock signals membership here on TradeTheFifth.com uh, for the 7th of February. As you can see here on the calendar, we can go backwards as well to each day because these build up our watch lists. I'm going to look for potential short trades today. So our members just click on short trades, click on the image and download the spreadsheet. Very, very simple. And then the spreadsheet looks something like this today. So I've gone for a 60 minute time frame. I want to work on this. I want to show you uh, some of the things that I teach in my core trading strategy as well. Uh, so the 7th of February, I've chosen one of these stocks for a potential short, EAT, Brinker Inter International Incorporated. So let's take a look at the chart. So first of all, this is the daily chart. I want to see where we are and describe a few things on the daily. So on the daily, I mean, the daily time frame is the ultimate time frame, really, because we have an open, a close, a high and a low. Put all those candles together. We see corrections or trends. Now, recently, we've had an ABC correction on the daily and I just did some measurements. Now, the measurements I use these are, are three different Fibonacci uh, measurements for ABC corrections and really to um, confirm the C wave. OK, now I teach these in my core trading strategy, so I'm not going to go all, all over the measurements. But the main thing is you look convergence of, of three levels from all the three different measurements. And this is where this convergence is here. And this is where the C wave pivot hit on the daily time frame. OK, so we had the big move gap down, move down uh, on, on earnings here. And then we found support. Now we've moved back up a little bit. So we're looking for a short. Now, longs, what we do is for longs, we look for moves back into the range of AB, but this looks very weak. So on intraday time frame, on a 60 minute time frame, we've had the signal for that potential short. So we're going to have a look at that right now. So our main multiple time frame dot cloud here, we're still bearish on the main time frame here on the daily uh, time frame. When we looked on the um, on the daily time frame, the weekly was still red as well. So overall, was still bearish. This was our C wave pivot into this zone that we took from the daily. So really, really strong support level there. Now we've had a wave four pullback uh, on the intraday time frame. So this is basically the behaviour now on the intraday. So on the intraday, I've drawn this channel. This was the bearish move. Uh, since our B pivot, if you like, on the daily time frame. And this is the bearish move here, which was um, broken. This, this channel was broken out of here when we had earnings and then came down the daily to hit those C, uh, C wave pivots here. Uh, those three conjoined, if you like, that really strong support level. And then it's pulled back intraday on a wave four and it's testing the lower bound of this previous channel now. Uh, some things that we look at to measure this wave four pullback, no matter what time frame it's on, is the 535 oscillator. Now that's just tipped, but we're okay between 90 and 140%. We've got false breakout bar on the bottom of the stochastics pulled back against there. We've just got our stochastic indicator, the red arrow, go down there recently as well. So let's have a look at the price action behavior because everything looks good for this potential fifth wave. We've pulled back and we've retraced since the big move down. We've retraced and tried to test back, get back into this channel. But remember, it is a bearish channel. So what we're looking for now is a move back down towards and test this C pivot. If there's a long, we wouldn't be going long until we, we actually re, we, we, the wave four failed intraday. So there's no real long for there right now. What we're looking at is this retracement since the big move down after earnings. The retracement's good. It's come into our probability pullback zones, just tipped into our amber zone. So that's an 80% probability. It's going to go on and make that new wave five low into our automated target zones down here around about $39. The only thing we're interested in right now, though, is the entry and potential support from this previous C wave, which is the wave three intraday. So we've got the entry at 4235, which is below the lows of yesterday. It rejected those lows quite dramatically and came back up within this range and closed near the highs. So today it could just go further high, break the stop for the order. We're not in the trade. We just cancel it. But if we do move back down, 
and go through these lows of yesterday. 42.35 is our entry. 44.13 is our stop loss. Now, we the risk to reward to our fifth wave target zone. Uh, remember, it could, it, we've still got other levels on that C wave uh, for it to go. The 127 here is another level there, which is really close to our wave five trade target on the intraday. So we've got some a bit of fresh air there. Obviously, we've got this zone that we talked about here. So we're still one to one into the top of this zone, one to two to the bottom end of our target. Now, decent risk reward, sensible entry below the low of yesterday. So we're going to be breaking out of this range. Uh, we were outside of this channel again. So we look for a big move down. Uh, futures are negative as I speak this morning uh, in the European morning. So 42.35 is the entry short for EAT on the six minute time frame. 44.13 is the stop loss. Target's 39, but we've got to consider this previous low at 40.29 where that C wave pivot was on the daily and it's the wave three on this intraday. So we've got to consider if we do run out of juice there to get out if we get into this trade. So that's EAT. Uh, have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.